This is an exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go first, see how far you can get. If you get stuck on anything, then just skip ahead to see my hints for each part. So for eighth part one, let's have a read through what we're given in this body of text. So a company plans to extract oil from an oil field. The daily volume of oil measured in barrels, so V is in barrels, will uh, that the company will extract from this oil field depends upon the time T years after the start of drilling. The company decides to use a model to estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted. The model includes the following assumptions. The initial volume of oil extracted, so initial daily volume of oil extracted is this. And the daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly four years after the start of drilling. So volume four years after, that will be 9,000. And we know that the daily volume of oil decreases over time. We're given two graphs, model A, model B. We see that the conditions are uh, that we're given those bullet points are followed. So we have our initial point of 16,000. We have a later point of four years and 9,000 barrels. And then we see that for both of these models, the volume is decreasing over time. So then for A part one, we're using our model to estimate the daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly three years after the start of drilling. The hint for this part would be, so model A is the, the straight line that we have here. So you want to find an equation for the straight line. And once you have that, it should be pretty straightforward. OK, so equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. But then in this case, it's volume against time. So we can use v is equal to mt plus c. And then we can put in the coordinates that we have. So we have the y-intercept already. So we already know that v is equal to mt plus 16,000. So just to check if that's in the right units, it is 16,000 barrels, and v is measured in barrels. So that's consistent. Um, we don't need to change this to anything else. And then we can put our coordinate of 4, 9,000. So volume, 9,000 barrels, mass times time, plus 1,600, or 1,000. So it rearranges for m. We end up with 4m is equal to minus 7,000. m will then be equal to minus 1,750. And our equation will then be minus 1,750t plus c, which is 16,000. And then we can put in t is equal to 3 into that. So t is 3. Volume then becomes... 10,750. For part two, write down a limitation of using model A. The hint for this part would be to think about what is unrealistic about model A. So what's unrealistic about model A is that the volume of barrels extracted becomes negative after a certain amount of time, which wouldn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for the amount of oil that you extract from an oil field to be negative that implies that we're putting oil back into the ground, which doesn't make sense. So for B part one, it says, using an exponential model and the information given in the question, find a, po find a possible equation for model B. So exponential means we have to have some constant to the power of a variable, which in this case would be t. So the volume would be equal to something of that form. So we could say volume is equal to, let's say, a k to the power of t, where a and k are both constants. So we can also write this as, another way that we can write this is v is equal to some constant, let's say, b, e to the power of kt. That's another option that we can have. And the reason that these two things achieve the same effect is because we can rewrite this right-hand side equation as b e to the power of k all to the power of t, and e to the power of k is just another constant, which I'll just call a or something. So it achieves the same effect. Both of those are valid ways of, of um, modeling this scenario. So then you want to think about, well, with the coordinates that we have, what would those constants that we, need to, that we have in our equations be? So you have to work that out. So I'll use the first one, a k to the power of t. I'll put in our numbers. So we have 0, 16,000. We're putting that into v is equal to a k to the power of t. 16,000 is equal to 
a k to the power of zero, which is just a. So we have a, a is 16,000. And now to work out k. So we've got a, uh, we can put that into our equation as well as the coordinate that we have here and then rearrange for the unknown k. So we have v is equal to 9,000. 9,000 is equal to a, which is 16,000 times k, which we don't know, we're trying to work that out, to the power of 4. And then we can divide both sides by 16,000. So k to the power of 4 is 9,000 all over 16,000, or 9 over 16. And then we can do the fourth root of that. And then we end up with 0 0.866. And then so our question was to work out an equation. So then we can put it all together. So the volume is then equal to A times K to the power of T. Now for part two, using your answer to be part one, estimate the daily daily volume of oil that will be extracted exactly three years after the start of drilling. So this should be straightforward. You know what time is, you just want to put that into the equation. So then B part two, volume will be equal to 16,000 times 0 0.866 to the power of three. Put that in and we end up with Ten thousand three hundred and ninety one barrels.